Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to install the Elemake Keyless Fingerprint Smart Door Lock. Now this has several ways you can open it. It also has a key. It has a keypad you can get on with the app. And let's take a look at it. I'm going to put it on this door here. Now technically this is my back door to my cabin. And as you can see I've installed this set but it doesn't <laughs> doesn't shut real well so what I gotta do is take this old plate off before I install this get my multi-tool chisel this out a little more I can see clearly that it wasn't good enough I just never never got to it let me show you what this thing looks like yeah I'm gonna go out on a limb and say them ain't gonna fit those will fit a six-year-old, but they ain't going to fit me. All right, let's tear into this dude. Comes pre-assembled, which is nice. And this is how it will mount. Uh, this will be the outside. As you can see, it has a fingerprint pad. And I believe this will light up when I put the batteries in. And it has a numeric keypad as well. And... So we're going to just pull this apart, put this bolt and strike pad in the door, and then from what I see, installation is pretty simple. Supposed to be pretty simple. We will see. Uh, comes with that, comes with your strike plate, a couple of screws, and you do have to purchase batteries. I was going to do this yesterday and then I realized it didn't have batteries, so I had to pick some up. But takes four AA batteries and they insert right in here we'll get some closer up shots here when I get get this thing installed so right now I'm gonna take this old one off and I'm gonna chisel out this strike plate area get the new strike plate in and then we'll come back and we'll install this fancy dancy Ella make keyless lock and it does have a key by the way so you will never be locked out now this is for install indoors so you don't want to put this on the outside of your house like for my front door uh, it's not made for that this is great if you say you got a roommate and you want to have your own personal lock on your door on your room you can install this or you know any kind of situation a parents can have this on their bedroom door to keep the little wee ones from coming in at certain times you know what i mean uh, it comes with the pretty big instructions and instruction man it's hard for me to say that yeah I, I looked at the pictures okay i looked at the pictures i i got it all right let me get this taken care of we'll come back we'll get this thing installed Alright, to get these apart, there are two screws down in here. They're pretty long. And then you simply pull them out. And then this whole thing comes out here. And I drop them on the floor. Alright, now I'm going to uh, install the striker. You got to make sure that when the door pulls this way, you know, the same way you took the other one off pretty much All right, let's get that dude installed Test it. 
Make sure it's lined up. Oh yeah. Let me get Oh, where's that big screwdriver? There it is. Alright. So now we know that that'll work. And that one isn't pulling out like the old one did. Alright, now let's go ahead and install the lock, the handle. Okay, let me show you guys. And these are the two pieces that come out. Now you're going to have this cable as part of the electronics that's going to come through this hole and plug into this circuit board and I have the other piece in there and I'll show you when we get to that. So we're going to install the outside first. Now the outside has the fingerprint. Uh, I believe the fingerprint goes up. So let me get over on the other side of you guys here. Let's get you down there. And that is simply going to go in. You see the two bolts there? You're going to route this cable through the hole. And then line these two up. Like so. Looks about good to me. Let me go get the other part. We're just doing this live, guys. I'm going to show you how it is. Alright. And this piece, I don't think I needed to take those screws loose, but I do. Uh, put these back tight. I don't know, I might have. Yeah. All right, well, let's get this piece on. All right, the two screws that I took out. One's over here on this floor. And the other one I lost. Oh, I'm good at this stuff. Well, let's get one of them in. And again, this is going to route through here. Where'd you go? There you are. All right, hang on guys, let me go look at something. Okay, this is actually the cover for this side here and it has the, um, where the circuit board, where the plug plugs into. So that's what I was <laughs> confused about, but I'm confused no more. Okay, now we can get this on. It took me 37.2 minutes to find the bolt that I missed. All right, so we're gonna take this electrical plug Feed it through the hole. There it is. And let me get my glasses on. I'm going to line up these holes here. These are pretty much dummy proof, I would say. There we go. There we don't go. Okay. There. It's not as difficult as I'm making it seem. Don't have good, uh, use of my hands anymore all right there's the plug but i will say it's so far it's easier than your standard doorknob all right now we're where we need to be so put that screw in there Excuse Rooster Barking. 
This is not the best screwdriver in the world. Alright, fillet threading. Do it one at a time, a little bit at a time. Ah, this screwdriver. There we go. Doesn't pay to buy cheap tools, I tell you that. And boy, this is a horrible screwdriver. Oh, we're getting it. All right. It's nice and tight. that part's in, I'm going to take the circuit board, it's over here, excuse me, and this is the piece we took off in the beginning, and you got a little plug there, it has four prongs, tell you what, we'll put the batteries in before we do that. Me. Thank goodness batteries <clears throat> still come in easy to open packages. Okay, <clears throat> it tells you right on here. Positive out. Uh, let's see, negative. Positive and negative. All right, now we're going to plug this in. There is a certain way that goes. in and there's two screws and you heard it beep <laughs> what I do with them screws oh I'm a mess man let me go find them screws and we'll get that on okay the screws never were in there originally they were in a bag and let me see I heard it beep And that simply screws in. Okay. Now, let's shut this and test it with the key before we get into working on all the electronics. All right, I'm gonna shut it. What we got going on there? Oh, I see. Something's preventing it going in. Oh, I see. Screw's not in there tight enough. Fix it. Trial and error, guys. Trial and error. Alright, as you can see, it's shut. We're gonna, it's unlocked. You can see the digital keypad. That is the thumbprint reader and I believe, yes, keyhole is underneath here. Let me get down here where I can see what I'm doing. Okay, now we've locked it, and that does nothing. Okay, that's what we want. Now we need to unlock it. I will say this is uh, 
a little un unconvenient having this underneath here, but I can see the reasoning for that. All right, what did I do? Okay, now it's unlocked. It's just a matter of getting used to it. That is unlocked. And that is locked. So now we got to have a key or the fingerprint or the code or the app, I believe, to get in. And now we got the key working it. Okay. I don't know what that beeping and booping is about, but I'm going to get in with the key. All right. Let's go on to the electronics. All right, guys, right now I'm downloading the Smart Life app. And I'll be the first to tell you, I do not like doing stuff with apps, but we'll see how this does. Okay, it's downloaded. I'm going to open it. Uh, Got to do the agreement. Sign up. Okay. I'll pause it while I do that. All right, guys, I was having trouble getting my email on here okay so now i'm into the app it says add devices uh, yeah well smart life to access devices location only this time and my bluetooth should be on searching for devices i'm just showing you what it's doing in real time Bluetooth should be on here. Yep. All right. Problem was on the app, I did not have the uh, permissions enabled. So it wasn't finding the lock. So once it did, uh, this screen comes up. Tapped and unlocked. So you can just open your app. And then let me show you. <laughs> Is anything going to go right in this review? What am I doing wrong now? I, anything, I swear, apps. I just used it. Oh, tap and hold. See, that's my problem. I don't follow instructions well. And there you have it. And then now we're locked again. Tap and hold. And it unlocks. All right, now let's see if we can figure out how to set up the fingerprint. Okay, as you can see, it comes up as G Lock because it's Ye Lock, man. <laughs> it's not U Lock, it's Ye Lock. All right, uh, I'm gonna have to figure this, figure out the rest of it, man. This, this is probably the worst. Worst review they've ever gotten. But hey, us older folks don't know some of these gadgets, so I'm showing them. But uh, let me see what else I can get done with it. All right, now I'm into the settings, and it says add fingerprint. So we're going to click that. How to capture fingerprint. First, follow the instructions. <laughs> now we have a trouble. All right, locate the fingerprint recognition area. Well, I know where that is. Place the same finger on the fingerprint recognition area several times. Hold the same position for more than five seconds. All right, start capturing, it says. Probably better get y'all down there. Can you see what I'm going to do? I'm just touching this several times, and it's reading my fingerprint. captured and it says done okay let's see if that did work all right right now it's locked i'll be dipped in duty oh <laughs> isn't that cool let's do that again get y'all down here where you can see it like this <laughs> all right 
got that figured out. We got the key figured out. We got the turn it on with the app figured out. What else can it do? Password management. Okay, let's see. How are we going to? Okay, we're going to set a password. Oh, it wasn't done. Well, you just... Oh, that's me with my fingerprint. So unless somebody cuts my thumb off. But guys, you get the idea. And it also will open on Wi-Fi. Don't know what that means. I guess you can open it from Vegas. Uh, I don't know. Uh, my brain's already hurting. It isn't the product. The product seems to work fine. Okay. I'm just... You know, I'm 56 years old. We had rotary dial phones when I was a kid. We didn't have this stuff. This is all still new. You know, I've only had a cell phone for 15 years. So, you know, I had a smart. But, the product. Let me get you down there and look at it. I'm going to use my fingerprint. <laughs> I can't get over that. What if I lose my thumb? You know, in like a driving accident or something. How am I going to get in? Well, I'm going to open my app with my buddy Stub and hit open. That's what I'm going to do. All right, guys. I'm going to edit this the best I can, but it's awful. But uh, Ella Make, let me, get the, let me get the box and show you again. And I'm going to put the link and any promo codes down there in the description. And uh, it's pretty cool. Well, like I said, this is for an inside door, not an outside door, and uh, I know what the problem is. <coughs> I did not put on the magic gloves. I put these on, all the knowledge. <coughs> ah. <coughs> Happy trails.